Hi, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to do is talk about um, hitch cord uh, hitches and kind of want to simplify them. So we did the series of, you know, a playlist of hitch cord um, hitches. So I, I want to give you my perspective on it and maybe try to make them a little bit more simple. All right, but before we do that, what I wanted to show you was this cool looking tree. It's a Acrisia speciosa, but they actually changed the name. Now they call it a Sebia speciosa, um, commonly known as a floss silk tree. Pretty cool looking tree. This thing has some monster looking roots. Anyhow, it's not one that I'd really want to climb because it has a, a spiky looking uh, trunk and branches. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you guys that. Well, throughout this, the video um, list that I've been working on with the cord hitches, I've been tying the, um, you know, each knot a couple of different ways, usually. Um, and the reason I do that is because I, I think a lot of people um, see things differently. And sometimes when you see a knot a certain way, um, you might get it. Um, for example, um, if I were, say, doing the distal, I'm not really going to go over how to tie it, but when I do the distal, somebody who does um, tie like a taut line hitch, if I show the distal in this way, if I showed them once, I would think maybe they would just get it on the first try and I wouldn't have to, um, you know, go over a bunch of the times, you know. So it's not really, the legs aren't right, but... Someone who ties a taut line hitch and sees me tie a distal this way, they might get it quick, you know? Now, somebody who uses a, uh, a Blake's hitch, you know, if I were to do a distal the way um, you would kind of tie a Blake's where I start on the bottom and I work my way up, you know, kind of like I'm doing a Blake's, well, then, they might get it easier. Maybe I show them once and they got, got it. Okay. And you know, some people like to just use gravity when they, when they tie. So if I show somebody a distal in this way, you know, where I go wrap or down, they uh, might get it the first try. So the important part, about the hitch that you're tying is just in the way that it finishes. You know, as long as all the parts are right, it really doesn't matter if you tie it like you're doing a taut line or if you tie it like you're doing a Blake's or if you start from the top and work your way down. What is important is that just the finishing part of that knot is correct. And that's kind of a, a thing that I'm pointing out. Also, I do repetition and I kind of say it a lot of different times, whatever I'm, I'm saying, because I think sometimes it helps people get a better idea and maybe retain it. So what I, what I was um, wanted to explain is that basically all the hitches that we've been working on on this list, they all have in common four wraps or three wraps. Um, for this video, I'll, I'll just use four wraps. So um, what I wanted to say is that the way you finish it will really change your hitch. So the only thing that you really got to think about are the legs and how you finish the legs. So for the distal, you already have your four wraps and you want to finish it. All you really need to do is drop your leg down, bring it around and finish it in this way. Then you have your distal. Okay, so now that you have that, the next one I want to show you is a swabish. So I'll undo this, and now with the swabish, instead of crossing over, you'll just go straight down around your rope and back through. And now you have your swabish. Now from the swabish, if you wanted to have a different one, all you got to do is bring it, if I, I want to do the Mitchell con, so I'll bring this line down. And I'm going to switch the legs. When I switch the legs, I'll bring this one around. I'll bring it up through. And now you have your Mitch Wokan. And then so if you wanted to do a canute, you still have all your four wraps. Now with the canute, what I will do is I'll make a bite of my line. And I'll bring the other end of the bite around. And I'll pass it through the bite. And now I have a canute. 
Okay. Now I still can continue if I wanted to do, say, a VT. You see, you already have the four wraps, and now all you got to do is braid down the line, and you have your VT. If I wanted to do an XT, all I have to do is bring it straight down, bring it around my rope, now I do my braiding, and I have my XT. If I wanted to do a Cooper's hitch, you know, I'll bring it around, and then I twist the legs, and now I have a Cooper's hitch. And if it was, you know, a Val de Tente, basically your four wraps, and then you just cross over, and that's the Val de Tente. Anyhow, my, my idea with this is that, yeah, all you have to do is just work with the legs. Um, whether you're tying up or down or in between, whatever you want to do, as long as you do it and finish it in the right way, the hitch is correct. And I think that some people have to do, you know, see the hitch in different ways. Everybody learns a little bit differently. I always feel like that if somebody sees it, a lot of times you'll retain it more. But if you see it in the way that's easy for you, that's the best way to retain it. That's kind of why I like to try to do it in different ways. So there you go. Hitch is simplified. So that was um, Hitch is simplified. And what, what I was trying to go do on this uh, video is try to help people um, see the hitches in different ways or as I have been doing it. So you may be able to retain the knot that you see. Sometimes seeing it in a certain way might help people to get it at the maybe first try. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, remember that if you're going to try something new, always do it low and slow. All right, after this clip, I'm going to show a few, the, a run through of the knots in the way that I did it earlier. Hope you enjoy it. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like what we do. And if you know people who like this kind of stuff, share our videos. Take care. We'll see you next time.